Hey guys, Jerry Films here, and welcome to another episode of Super Hostile Sea of Flame. I almost said Spellbound Caves. I'm not nearly there yet. Spellbound Caves, I think, is number... I want to say number 10, but I might be wrong. Anyway, so we got some interesting developments in this video because I did a lot of off-camera work. You'll notice my inventory is completely full of cobblestone. Um, that's not even like, that's not even a, a tenth of the amount of cobblestone I actually have mined. <laughs> it's my full inventory. Is it almost night? Oh my god. Okay. Well, there's some stuff I want to show you on the surface, but I guess I'm going to have to go to sleep first. Today, my drink of the day is Coke Zero with lemoncello and a bit of grapefruit juice nice like citrusy coke blend i think citrus matches coke really well i'm pretty sure there is a bit of citrus flavoring in coke actually that just that just kind of reminds me of the debate between coke and pepsi like so i know I, i've heard that in blind tests, people tend to prefer Pepsi. Like, they do have distinctly different tastes. I would say Pepsi is a little bit more, like, acidic. Like, it's hard to describe. There's, like, acidic kind of flavors, and then there's, like, chocolatey, like, creamy. And it's like, Coke is not like that, but it's more like that than Pepsi, if that makes any sense. Anyway, so you'll notice this huge crater in the ground. <laughs> I was in F3 mode, which I usually am off camera. And you'll notice you can see these name tags. I mentioned this in a past video. Those are mobs. So I noticed there was a ton of mobs right in this area. I went, that was pretty weird. Let me check down here. And notice that this was actually the creeper spawner. That was the creeper spawner that is right here. So, uh, while lighting this up, I was like, you know what, I might as well light it up. I noticed, wait, hold on a second, there's a bit of a, a hole right here. Yeah. <laughs> I would have completely missed this had I not been in F3. So, we got our light blue wool. Um, hmm. Okay, I guess I'll just take one back for now. Um, just going to note that I'm destroying most of these fleecy boxes because I'm salvaging the glowstone to use in the next area I'm going to show you. But first, let's put this on the monument. Where is light blue? Right here. Perfect! Let's start my timer now. <laughs> I, I did remember this time. I did remember. So we're going to head down. And I'm going to show you where is this zombie no oh there it is okay that's a bit weird i'm gonna get out of f3 i, I just find it a bit annoying to be in f3 anyway let's kill this guy get out of the way <coughs> god damn it the phlegm just decided to get into my throat right at that moment we gotta go this way. Yeah, this place is absolutely massive. Um, now, I, I said I listened to that entire album the one time. I've now, <laughs> I, I discovered the the song Miracle by Maddion. Now, I haven't been a huge fan of Maddion in the past, but I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but I found this the music video for it on his channel and I just I fell in love with it immediately and I can't stop re-watching just on repeat the music video I just hit the loop function on YouTube and and just I don't know what's so good about it but it's so good I don't know if it strikes some weird nerve I don't know <clears throat> nerve is is the wrong term but it strikes something in me and I just want to keep watching it it's so like sad but oh my god Anyway, I could I could talk about that for a long time. Here we are in the foundry. That's what I'm calling it. So this is that area with those two chests. I've added a few 
a few more over there. But, <laughs> yeah, I've completely lined the walls in furnaces. Because I think it looks cool. Like, you can't... You, you could say it's stupid all you want and a waste, but what else am I going to do with these, like, full chests of cobblestone from my mining projects? Like, there's no, there's nothing else I can really do with these besides, like, use them all for... Uh, oh, there's my glass. Besides using them all for... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Furnaces. Like, furnaces are so good at wasting cobblestone it's eight cobblestone in one block so reducing my numbers by that much up here there's some caves nothing really too important so yeah the reason I'm blocking this off is because my tree farm <laughs> kept burning down uh, yeah so this this the foundry as I'm calling it I'm planning to make my new or at least like home away from home so I can come here it'll have everything I need as you can see I have trees right here um, and I am pretty good on furnaces as well got some crafting tables at the entrance I just I just didn't want to put furnaces right up to the entrance stop that this is my safe room don't start playing those sounds in the foundry that is against the rules Anyway, so let's make up some... I don't know where that zombie is, but I'm not happy about it. I'm going to make up my... Oh, I got an achievement. Hot Topic. Imagine working at Hot Topic. That'd be crazy. I gotta say. Be some wacky stuff. So, here we got a ton of them. Yeah, I have a auto clicker set up on my mouse so that I can just not have to worry about clicking like 20 million times. Anyway, so there. We've got our furnaces. I'm going to finish up the walls. Now, this is definitely more than enough for the wall, but my plan is to go full-on roof, full-on floor, all furnaces. Uh, well, not all furnaces. As you can see, I this is what I'm using the glowstone for. So I've got roof glowstone. I'm also going to have some glowstone in the floor. This section I've marked out is also going to be this big area farm and then a little area. I might do vice versa. I might put the farm over there. Or sorry, the... So wheat farm here, animal farm over there. So it's as far away from here as possible. I'm planning to make this a little like respawn point at the back so yeah I was I was saying in the last video that I'm gonna try to get two in this video and as you know I like to do a bit of cheaty off-camera exploring well yeah I did my I, my, I did my cheating my off-camera exploration and turns out just in my haste, and you can probably see this in the last video, but I completely missed a fleecy box, like right in front of me too. And I'm going to head over to it right now. So this leads directly to that area where I died in the last episode. Now, out of everything on me once again, I'm not going to be going right into there. I'm probably going to take another pit stop back before I do anything, but I got a ton of diamonds now. Like, you guys don't know, I probably got at least 32 diamonds, but I made, like, a ton of diamond pickaxes. So, yeah. It's more than it, it looks currently. But yeah, there's right at the end of this, like, I just didn't look down here. I don't even think there was mobs here in the video originally so i guess i'm just <laughs> i guess i'm just stupid because like how do how do you miss this it's right here anyway we got gray wool now and you know what i'm in an exploring mood so <laughs> and i know that's a that's a bad thing to hear when i'm in an exploring mood 
uh, because it usually results in me pushing my luck a little too much. But I got to see what's down here. Come on. This is not a dead end. I see. What the hell? Okay. Interesting, interesting. Interesting use of the delete tool in MC Edit. This is so weird. That's what I find the weirdest about this map. Like, there's so much just nonsensical structures all around. I feel like the majority of people did not even get this far when playing. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, that was close. That scared me. <clears throat> I like the little rhythm I got going. <coughs> like, okay, th this is something I find a little bit annoying. I was fine all day, and now all of a sudden, when I go to record, I've got like a bunch of phlegm in my throat. It's like it's so annoying. <laughs> like I was fine. I was, I was fine like two minutes or like 10 minutes ago ish before i started recording oh my god did i just find another one let's go let's go holy light gray i got gray i got light gray uh i'm probably not going to come back to this specific spot so huh. Okay, as I was saying, I'm probably not going to come back to this specific spot, so I'm going to destroy this while I'm here. Because <laughs> I don't really have, I don't think I have much reason to come over here. I could be wrong. You know, there could be like a ton of reasons to come over here. But, I don't see, but. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't see, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Why? <laughs> There might, there could be a reason to come to come back here. Is what I'm trying to say. But oh my god, am I seriously that <laughs> immature? I thought that was funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's a creeper. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. that was not that scary actually. I lied. I was acting, just like Gustavo. More like Gustavo Cringe. Yeah, there's a ton to explore here. It's a nice place. And I'm up to 27 diamonds. I got some of my diamonds from that fleecy box. That's why you'll notice there was those... Um, well, I didn't get them from the fleecy box, but you'll notice there was those like holes in the wall and the little cobblestone bridges. That's because I was over there earlier. And... Yeah, this is just a lava pit. Nothing special. Okay, well that was that was successful. I found three in one video. Oh, that scared me. I was like, what the how? It's just a skeleton. That was not fun. They do a little bit too much damage. Oh, you got another one of these. You gotta be kidding me. I don't even have my stairs on me. I'm just going to do this. Screw it. <laughs> Stay back, foul beast. <laughs> Stay back, foul beast. You little dummy. Okay, no. I got to get back. Please, stay back. Okay, I got time. There we go. And I just noticed I still got, like, bone meal in my inventory. Like, what am I going to use that for? Okay, this is looking very promising. This might even... Okay, that is scary. That is... I see the 
the the mossy cobblestone and I instantly just know like that's okay I see ya oh okay we're here yes I knew this connected somewhere to to that area this better not spawn a creeper come on I see it starting to spin a little bit faster okay we're good so this is it. That's the area where I think there's more more wool. But I gotta explore this a little bit because there's also that. You know what? I'm pushing my luck. I'm pushing my luck. I need to head back. How, how much time do I got left in this video? How much time on my timer left? Oh, come on. Oh, make sure that's not behind me or anything. Come on. You know what? Screw it. I'm using my stone. I barely have any left. Ooh, that's that's scary looking tower. Another another tower of death and destruction. Hey creeper. It's a, it's like a it's a creeper spitting out creepers. Aw, you were allowed to explode. Okay, bad idea, bad idea. Ooh, really bad idea. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Really bad idea. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not doing that again. I'm lucky to have gotten out of that with my life. It was That was frightening as all hell. Like, I see this big structure and I'm like, hmm, this looks like the, uh, this looks like, what do I call it? The, the core from that one video where I exploded that huge thing. But I don't I don't see any TNT on it right now, so it must not be the same. It must not be. Yeah. Not I'm not trusting myself again on those those calls. That's fine. Stop it. That's freaking scary. It is going to be my mission at some point to try and safely defuse that tower. It's probably not going to happen. I have an idea though. If I can get up to a high point and bridge straight to the spawner, I might be able to deactivate it, or at least deactivate the spot that's of importance. Oh. I need to stop crunching my ice. Like, why did I pick this drink? Like, I just was like, let me get the drink that I like to put a lot of ice into to crunch up. I don't know why I thought about that, but... Or thought to do that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's not good. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, perfect corner. So this is probably going to provide decent light, but it's not going to provide total light. So I'm also going to have some floor lights um, over here. You know what? Just whatever. It's just going to not be lit up fully or something. I don't know. I could I, I could probably put glowstone, actually, now that I think about it. These top lights are also probably providing minimal light to the ground. So, I'm going to need ground lights. What I'm planning to do is have the ground lights be a bit more sparse, but like in between. So, like here. I guess, no, they would be the same. Same distance between them. But they're going to be in the middle of every four of these. <laughs> Okay. 
It's getting really trippy. One, two, three, four, five. Looking at the roof. Oh my god, what? Secret. Okay. I knew there was something up here, but I, did, I didn't know it was right there. Oh, that's a bit annoying, but... <laughs> well, I I'll, I'll guess I'll keep this water flowing right there. And, well, besides that one, I've finished the roof lights. I'm just going to have to work on the floor lights now. But this place is starting to look pretty nice, I must say. Let's head back to the Victory Monument so that I can deposit my three, well, two new. Where is this? Okay, there's also those there's mobs that spawn like right up there. But I'm going to deposit these two new wools, which will make three for this episode, which is quite impressive, I must say. I've also decided that uh, four my continuation of the series. I'm going to not play every version on beta um, because I think, I forget what number eight is. It might be Canopy Carnage or whatever, but one of them, the newest version was beta 1.7.3 because it was never updated at any point. So what I've decided is this one's going to be the uh, exception there is a non-beta version of this map, which is still the like Sea of Flames 1, and there's also Sea of Flames 2. So I am going to play Sea of Flames 2 at some point, but I am going to treat that as a sequel to Sea of Flames 1. I'm not going to... like Same with uh, Infernal Sky, which apparently Infernal Sky is the easiest one in the game, in uh, just made. That's That's what it says on the wiki. I like to read through the wiki a little bit. Obviously no spoilers or anything. So we have one, two, three, four more to collect. That's that's getting pretty pretty good. As I was saying earlier, I'm planning to play the newest version of each map, not including sequels though. So I'm gonna be playing the newest version of, I don't think Deep has a newer version than beta 1.7.3, unfortunately. Also, I gotta get my sword out because this version has a very annoying thing like that, where it'll just spawn a mob right beside your bed like, there's no way I couldn't get damaged there. It's so stupid. Come on, don't do it, don't do it. We're good. Oh my god. Hello. I don't know why spiders are just able to, like, aggro you no matter where you are. Um, but yeah, I've got my wool on the monument. I'm doing pretty good. And yeah, so I'm going to be playing the newest version of every map, whatever, from this point on. This is the only exception I'm going to do because I wanted some beta gameplay. I've never played, well, I've played a little bit in beta, but this is about as far as my my beta experience goes, is this, this map right here. What the spider doing? Well, yeah, I've made the little, the little grave right here. Very sad moment replay that moment right now we can never forget my Slow heinous down. actions no <sighs> very sad all right well there's mount kelayua right there i'm gonna end the episode here hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next video whenever i record it see ya